and me and each it here like we like to do we like to read it's my boyfriend each it and i said hey each it hey how y'all doing so anyway we like well you know what when we want to um spice things up and since the kids are gone i can spice them up we like to read um from the penthouse forum together and i think that that is good relationship advice i think if you're with your partner and things are getting dull you should read from penthouse forum and that's what we're about to do with y'all right now okay so i'm gonna start you ready yes baby right. i'm ready yeah, I like my hair and my makeup. My make my neighbor came over and did my hair and my makeup for me. Look so pretty. <laughs> Anyways. I met Melissa while working on a construction job in West Virginia. While visiting the co-worker's apartment complex, I noticed a sexy, petite, raven hair beauty entering the hair beauty... S I fucked that up. Let me just start over. I met Melissa while working a construction job down in West Virginia. While visiting a co-worker's apartment complex, I noticed a sexy, petite, raven-haired beauty entering the apartment next door. My friend said she lived there alone, but he thought she was dating some black guy who he'd seen around a few times. As I was leaving, she was coming out of her apartment. I smiled and introduced myself, and we talked for a few moments. I let her know that I was very interested in her, and she told me that I seemed like a nice guy. Then she licked her full, sensuous lips. looked surprisingly at my six foot three muscular body and said maybe we could hang out sometime and get to know each other better and my dick came to life at the thought of Bone and Melissa. We hung out together a few times that week and on Thursday we made a date for the following evening and I was getting ready to leave her place that night. Five black studs showed up at the door and Melissa introduced them as friends of hers. At that point, I had no right to be jealous. So a couple moments after they arrived, I said good night and left. Now during our day the next night, I just had <laughs> me and each it we just switched the paragraph, you know. So you just had anyway, you get it. During our day the next night, I just had to inquire about Melissa's visitors. I knew I had to be careful not to piss her off, though, as I didn't want to fuck up my chances to drill that sexy heart-shaped bubble butt of hers. Melissa admitted that she dated mostly black men, but I always had a problem with maintaining long-term relationships with any of them. She said that she that every guy she dated, black or white, seemed to always be smothering her, getting jealous, and possesses them. And I just like to stop right here and say, you know what? It sounds to me like Melissa is suffering from borderline personality disorder because she don't trust nobody. She don't. And she has problem maintaining long term relationships. That is correct. This is what I read too. Well, then she says, let me ask you something. Why is it that if a guy fucks a lot of women, he's considered a stud? But if a woman fucks a lot of guys, she's considered a slut. Now, I think there's a rap star named Lil Debbie who wrote a song about that. You should check that out. But go ahead, each it's your turn. I, I, could, I couldn't answer her, so I just smiled at her, told her that I thought she was very beautiful, and kissed her. It seemed like a split second later, our clothes were flying all over her apartment. We got each other naked in record time, then immediately got into a 69 so we could perform oral sex on each other. Melissa was multi-orgasmic, and every time she would come, I'd press my mouth against her, then lick, slit, lip, 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 slit, slit, lip, slit, and sucked out every drop of her nectar. Melissa was a thorough oral lover as well, and she drove me insane with her hot mouth, roving tongue, and devouring throat. She was the most talented cocksucker I had ever had the pleasure of experiencing. When I came, she drank down every spurt and never let my dick escape her lips. The girl had skills. She did this pretty sexy thing too where she take one of my balls into her mouth and gently bite down behind it then tug it ever so lightly away from my body. All the while her tongue would be twirling around it, polishing it thoroughly with her saliva. Then she looked seductively into my eyes and let it plop from her lips. She knew that that drove me crazy and she looked so hot doing it. 
that first evening I got off three times while Melissa had orgasm after orgasm. I love the taste of her snatch. I even rimmed her little asshole too. Something I've never done to a woman. In fact, I've never done with any woman who loved oral sex as much as Melissa did though. And after that first night, we couldn't keep our hands off each other. But still, from time to time, those same fat five black guys would stop by to see Melissa. And although I was jealous, I still didn't think I had any right to say anything about it. And I didn't want to fuck up the wonderful thing we had. Eventually, I ended up taking a long-term job in West Virginia. And I had asked Melissa to move in with me. I thought it was a sure thing. But Melissa began to cry and said that even though she loved me and wanted to take the next step with me, maybe even marry me someday. It could never happen. She said she would only end up hurting me. I pressed her to me more. I pressed her to, I pressed her to tell pressed me her. more, but she wouldn't. She said she needed to take some time to think things through. And she promised to let me know what was going on and once she sorted things out for herself, and I stayed away as she asked, but I couldn't help wondering if I'd fuck things up by expressing my feelings for her too soon. Finally, after a week apart, I came home from work and found a note and a DVD from Melissa sitting in my mailbox. The note said that if after watching the tape, I still wanted her to move in with me, she would do it. Not sure what to expect, I nervously put the disc in my player and I waited for it to start. And I had no idea what the hell could be going on, but I needed to know what was going on. The disc began with Melissa sitting on her bed. I love you more than any guy I've ever dated, she said. And that's why I feel I have to be completely honest with you before we take our relationship with any... Any further. Any further. I want to be with you and only make love to you. And since we've been seeing each other, this... Are you getting mad at you? No, I'm not getting mad. Okay. This has only been yours. She patted her panty crotch. But I've got a confession to make. She paused for a minute and waited anxiously for her to start speaking again. I've got this oral fixation, she said. And I've had it since before I even started having regular sex. Regular sex. Regular sex. Regular sex. Hmm. And because of it all, all my previous relationships have failed. Now see what I tell you about that borderline shit. Yes, you're right. I've never met a guy secure enough to deal with me and accept my vice and urge that I can't help but to come to. And after watching this disc, if you still want me, knowing I do this at least once a week, I'll gladly move in with you. And... I love you. My deepest desire is that you will watch this and this will turn you on. Maybe you'll feel a sense of pride and even want to be present sometimes. So without any further ado, I'll sit back, take out that thick, yummy cock of yours, and keep in mind that my tight little cookie belongs only to you. The screen flashed to black, and when the picture returned, I saw Melissa crawling between her, the legs of one of them black men. I'd seen her at her apartment. There was no comma there. I'm sorry, babe. Okay. There was three other guys there, not counting the guy at the camera. The camera zoomed on Melissa, and she smiled. A dimple smile. A dimple smile? A dimple smile. A dimple you know? smile? Yes, With babe. dimples? Okay. Yeah. You see, babe, she said, I've always had this thing for black cock. She slid the young man's pants down his legs, exposing his dick. His cock was a bit lengthier than mine. And I get, wait, and I get it was eight inches long. It was a miss, it was a typo. It was a typo. And I guess it was eight inches long. She took hold of it at its base. Then she looked at the camera again and she said, I'm sorry, honey. But I just get off so hard from sucking black dick. And that's when I realized where my angel had gotten her cock sucking skills. Her eyes watered. She took the full length of that man's black dick into her throat. He got in her head up and down his shaft and smiled into the camera. 
your woman really does love black dick. I like that said. voice, baby. Shit, I'm getting ready to nut, he warned, turning his attention to back to Melissa. Melissa slid his dick completely out of her mouth and opened wide and stuck out her tongue <clears throat> just as a thick rope of pearly white semen sprayed into her mouth. Another thick strain landed against her cheek before she took his cock back into her mouth, and I watched as she shivered and quaked in orgasmic bliss. The sound of her sucking his dick caused my own cock swell full blood. My hand instinctively wrapped around it before I caught myself and let go of my dick. <laughs> on the DVD, Melissa continued to mew and nurse mew. on his mew. Mew. And nurse on his dick for several minutes before finally allowing it to fall flaccid from her thick lips. With tears and sperm running down her cheeks, she looked in the camera and smiled wickedly as she licked the stray droplets that come from the corners of her mouth. I came so hard, she said, before crawling between the legs of a short, stocky, light-skinned black guy. A light-skinned black guy. Hmm. Hmm. She pulled down his... She pulled down this guy's sweatpants and released a thick banana shaped boner. Wait, banana shaped boner? Banana shaped boner. That appeared to be about six inches in length. Six inches? But well, that's not very big for a black cock, but anyway. But nearly as thick as a beer can. Thick as a beer can? Now that's a pretty thick cock. That would look really strange, baby. He sat on the edge of the couch and Melissa moved into, in to begin sucking him. She took his cock in one hand and lifted it towards his mouth. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> towards his stomach. Then sucked and polished each of his balls. He, she polished each of his balls. Polished ball. it. She polished them, baby. Coated them in spit. She coated them in spit. I knew the pleasure the guy was getting and the and a pang of jealousy a pang ran of jealousy? through me as she let each ball plop from her lips. You felt them pangs. I he felt, felt them pangs. He felt them pangs as they dropped from the lips. Yes, ma'am. Oh, well. <sighs> well, this guy didn't last long before weaving his fingers into her long, thick mane and grunting his release. Melissa's cheeks swelled and hollowed as he pumped a thick, bountiful load into her receptive mouth. Again, she shuddered, and she shook when she climaxed. When she pulled her mouth off his dick, she smiled and opened wide, this time to show me the mouthful of jism that she just coaxed from her lover's balls. I'm not going to lie. I was heartbroken at first, but then I got incredibly excited. It was really erotic to watch my otherwise shy, timid, well-mannered girlfriend sucking off four black thugs. Black thugs. Black thugs. One would think it would be an instant deal breaker, but instead I took her advice and began to masturbate. I watched aroused as she serviced the other three guys one by one. My hand pumping up and down my shaft the whole time. I didn't let myself come though. I stopped each time I get close to exploding which, believe me, was very hard to do. After she'd sucked off the fifth guy. The she, fifth guy? The fifth guy. She oh looked at the camera again and said, Well, honey, if you're still watching, there may still be hope for our relationship. Oh, my goodness. Then she smiled and said it was time for the grand finale. There's a grand finale? <laughs> she, knelt. she knelt in the middle of the room and all the guys circled around her, even the cameraman. Melissa began alternating, sucking each of their dicks until one by one blasted sperm all over her beautiful face. She rubbed her cum, their cum, not her cum, their cum all over her face and tits and licked it from her fingers as she wriggled and convulsed from her own release. It was something watching her take each of those loads right in the kisser. And I finally jacked myself off, spraying my seed all over the carpet, my eyes glued to my girlfriend's face. After smiling and blowing a few cum bubbles, 
Melissa, where'd you buy in the movie Did ended? you say cum bubbles? I said cum bubbles. Oh my goodness. I admired her honesty and accepted her vice. I found it arousing to watch her gorge herself on black cock. We did get married. And her activities continue to this day. Even though we've relocated a few times throughout the years. We've never had any trouble finding young, virile, black guys to fulfill her wishes for more cock. Oh my goodness. The letters they write. This is from Birmingham, you got, Alabama. You got... This is from... Bur you sure is? Is, is, is that cousin? What? Bobby. You finished the last paragraph. You finished it? I never dreamed I'd become a cockhold husband who enjoyed watching his wife blow a room full of black men. But I am. Melissa and I are both very happy with it. Our relationship is based on honesty and our devotion to each other's sexual needs. And it keeps a marriage strong than ever. Stronger than ever. Signed, R.B. Birmingham, Alabama. I'll be darned. R.B. if you only fucking knew. Uh, R.B. Peace.